All right, on to number 10. All right, number 10. This is the finale. You've created all your content. You created your video. You created your stills. You created your flyers. You created user template. You got things ready for social. You're ready to go. So I went back to this one. Remember the tennis match, which was three pages? Well, I want to I want to send this out to the various platforms that it goes on. Now, you have the option to do one of a few things. You can simply hit download. And you can download the individual page you're on, or you can download all pages. And you can pick the format that it downloads in, including PDF, which is great for print. If you're going to just do it on social, either do JPEG or ping. All right, now that you've got it ready to download, if you say all pages, it will download all three pages as three separate graphics, but it will zip them together. So you'll see, you know, whatever the name of this is, tennismatch.zip in your downloads folder. Double click on it. You'll see all three images in a folder. Or just go to each individual page and, and download it that way. So you can do it either way. So if I download that page, starting to download, done, and I just saw it drop into my um, downloads folder, and there it is, ready to go. Okay. You also have the option to share it. So when I share it, I can send it to someone. I can even invite them to edit it. Yes, you can do uh, group edits. So, hey, I created this for you. Go ahead and tweak it the way you want and they can get into Express and do it. You can publish it to the web with a link so they can just click the link to see it. They don't have to, you don't have to send them all the individual graphics, especially if you have a bunch of pages. And my favorites, you can send it directly to the various social media platforms of your choice. Now, of course, you need to link your accounts to each one of these, and there's a procedure to do that, or better yet, even schedule it. So when I schedule it, because I've linked my various channels, I can choose which channels it's going to go on. I want it to go on Facebook, I want it to go on LinkedIn, and I want it to go on Twitter or X. And now that I've got those three, I can put in what I want it to say under the post, Hey, um, it's on a tennis match. Okay. Uh, great. And I can even preview it and see what it's going to look like on the various platforms. That's what it would look like on Facebook. That's what it would look like on X. That's what it would look like on LinkedIn. And I can either send it right now, put it on all three platforms right now on my behalf, or schedule it. And that way I can schedule it for whatever date and time. Now, keep in mind, I'm only doing the first page. You would theoretically go put the right page for each platform it should go on in the scheduler. So I wouldn't do the square for all three. I would go back and do the blog post for LinkedIn on LinkedIn, do this one for Facebook and, and maybe um, Instagram, and then do, do the one for, you know, story for story. But you can go ahead and schedule them, and that way, hey, I can do it in the, you know when I'm working. I'm at my day job now, and I want my social content to go on my social networks in the middle of the workday. Scheduling is awesome. All right, folks, that's it. That's the wrap. We did the 10 things beginners want to know how to do with Express. There's more you can do, more to learn, but that should get you well on your way to becoming an Express master. To use an express, like, it's easy, because it is. Cheers, everyone. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye, everybody.